welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren and this is my special guest today, Max. Today we're going to be talking about essentials that you need when getting a new puppy, things that I wish I had when I got him, things I've learned along the way. So hopefully you'll find this video informative, helpful in any way. I post lifestyle content on my channel. So if you like videos like this, please make sure to like and subscribe. Okay, we'll just get started. Okay, so first thing on the list is, and I feel like I'm going to put Max down because he is really antsy. He doesn't like to just sit in my lap. He's in play mode right now. So I'm going to set him down. Okay, first on the list is this Bitter No Chew and Hot Spot Spray. It's all natural. I got this on Amazon for like, I think anywhere from $15, $15, $10, something around that range. It is a lifesaver. Max always wants to chew on my slippers. When I'm walking, he's just always wanting to chew on them. He's so interested. So what I'll do is like, I'll step him away for a second, spray them, and he'll come over, he'll smell my slippers, and he'll be like, no, and he'll walk away. So what it does, it's just like a stinky smell to them. It doesn't smell bad in my opinion. I actually like weirdly kind of like it. So it says it works to discourage chewing, biting on wounds, skin, anything else. It says there's no steroids. It's hypoallergenic, 100% non-toxic. You probably want to get this actually before you get your puppy so that right away you can spray this and they start to recognize, hey, I shouldn't chew on this. We actually got this after our third week of having him and I wish I had it right away because I feel like some of the habits he's already kind of established I could have avoided had I just had the spray earlier and started spraying them so he recognizes hey not to chew this but he's already picked up on a lot. Definitely like this. There was really good reviews on Amazon. This will help so much. Next up we have this portable water dish. I love this. So we were bringing Max to the park. We brought him to my parents house multiple places and he would get home from wherever. See he's already like he's eyeing this. We'd get home from wherever and he was just so thirsty. He would run to his water dish and just chug water. I don't know if you can tell he's he has his eye on this. He's he's wanting this. Do you want some water? Here maybe we'll do like a full-on example of how this works before I even explain. So what you do is there's water at the bottom, you push this thing up and you start to fill water by kind of draining it in the in the dish. Let's see here. And then let's go. Wow, you're thirsty. And then if your puppy doesn't finish all the water in the thing, you just switch the lever back and you kind of just pour it back in there. I don't know if that was a good example or not, but I was everywhere. I'm like holding on to Max, trying to see if this is working. This just works so well. And then what's great about it is the bottom twists off so you can put treats or you can put food in here. So this is like the one-stop shop. You just twist this top part off to add the water, twist it back on, and it's so easy. I mean, you just saw how it works. And like, I don't know if you can tell, like he is just staring at this. He's just like, I want more water. Okay, but back to this. Um, this I got on Amazon for $13, I believe. Highly recommend. This thing is amazing. Next. It is inevitable. 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 With puppies that they will have accidents in the house. You can be the best at taking them out and you can have them on a good routine, but somehow there's just accidents that happen. I have found that this particular spray it's Nature's Miracle Stain and Odor Remover. This works wonders. You spray it on the carpet and literally the smell evaporates. The stain, gone. Like, I'm not kidding. I don't understand how, but I'm not going to question it. This is the best. You spray it, you walk away, it goes away. I've had no signs of, like, the smell of, like, lingering pee at all. This stuff is miracle so get this at target walmart all those places probably on amazon i feel like this particular brand works best i used a different spray before which was fine it just wasn't cutting it and then someone recommended this to me and i got this and wow it is a game changer so any sort of accents spray this stuff on there you will not be able to tell you won't be able to see even with barf all good so definitely recommend this spray okay next are poop bags Poop bags, you need these. You literally need to stock up. You need more than you think you will because there is nothing worse. I've experienced this yet because I will not, I do not want to let myself, but not having a bag when you need it. You do not want to be that person who leaves your dog poop outside. Like, just don't do that. Please, for the love of God, do not do that. It's bad 
for everybody. No one wants to step in it. It's also bad for other dogs, so just don't do that. Man, and I got like a ton of bags. We have like just different ones, different brands. We just have a handful of them all over. We just like buy in bulk. You get these on Amazon. You can get these anywhere, like Target, Walmart. Make sure you just like stock up. And what's even best is we put this little holder on the leash. So basically we just attach this to the leash and it keeps the bags in here. So we never have an excuse not to have a bag because it's just right here on the leash. It's super handy how it just like holds on like that. As you can see, I don't understand how people don't have that little poop bag holder. It's perfect. Just make sure you stock up on bags. Buy them in bulk. You never know how many you need until like you don't have them and you're freaking out. Like just get yourself some. Don't be that person who doesn't clean up after their dog. Okay. Next up, we have these Kongs. These are the best. This will keep your dog so entertained. So the first week we brought Max home, we had this, and he just didn't like it. I think it was too hard for him right away. So now that his teeth are stronger, he is loving this. What we do sometimes is put some peanut butter in here, and he'll spend forever just looking at it, getting out all the peanut butter. He loves it. Highly recommend these. I've seen people post reviews of these all the time, so I'm sure you've already seen them, and they come in multiple sizes. We obviously have the smallest one because he's just, like, tiny, but these are the best. Something you don't realize you need until you really need it are nail clippers. These look like some crazy tool. Like, this is hilarious. I feel like I grabbed these out of my dad's toolbox, but you won't realize how bad you need them until all of a sudden you look down your dog's toenails and you're like oh my god they get long so quick you don't even realize it you don't want to just like wait last minute or have to like run to target get this ahead of time and i don't know maybe some people use like normal nail clippers but i think it's just best to go get the dog specific one i'm one of those people who just like it's made for the dog i'm gonna get it for the dog we really like this brand i'll link it below okay this next one i wouldn't say it's like super necessary like maybe make this on your second trip whenever you're getting stuff but i really like these wet wipes for dogs so when max goes outside and he plays in the mud the dirty snow whatever it is and he comes inside with his wet paws wet dirty paws i'm like oh it hurts the heart to see him go and want to run on the white carpet they're all natural hypoallergenic and you can get these anywhere like legitimately we got these at um tj maxx we can get them at target petco amazon all this stuff but we kind of liked this one specifically because we like the smell it's like this fresh coconut smell um it says it eliminates odor kills bacteria so i don't know we really like these so i definitely recommend if you have like a white carpet and you don't want your dog's dirty paws getting all over these are great okay next up are the potty pads i can't say enough good things about these. As I mentioned in my previous video, these potty pads save our life. So at first we were taking Max out every two hours. We live in a taller building and so going down the elevator at night, especially like the 2 a.m., 4 a.m. shift was brutal. So we do have a potty pad right next to our balcony door. And so we use that for emergencies. And so we have like the turf, so it's fake grass that Max kind of puts together like grass and potty. So we like the fake turf, but under the turf we have these potty pads. So it's easy for us to do a cleanup. We clean the turf and then we use the potty pads underneath. Easy cleanup. They're super nice. And now we're at the point where he only really uses the potty pad like once a day, which is super great. But these things work wonders. They just like absorb everything. So if you are like us and you know that you need another option other than taking them down or outside every time they go to the bathroom, these potty pads are amazing. And again, you can get these anywhere. I think we got these particular ones from TJ Maxx. So anywhere you go, you can find a good set of potty pads. Okay, this next one I don't have like with me but because it's in Max's crate. But I would definitely recommend getting them a little doggy bed. We got our doggy bed before we got Max so that when we went to pick him up, we could have the bed on my lap and then he could lay in it. So he got used to being in his little bed and that was his safe space. And he loves it. He sleeps in it every night. That also goes to my next thing. We have Max sleep in a crate at night and we also crate trained him so now he actually loves his crate he chooses to go in there so he loves it so i recommend crate training especially if you're like me and you're working from home when you need to be in meetings you need to be paying attention you're busy throughout the day it's easy just to put him in there and he's comfortable with it i feel like if you crate train later on when they're not used to it as a puppy they don't resonate with it as like a safe space and so they're freaked out so definitely recommend getting a little bed and then putting that bed in the crate and just making an overall safe space keep using that term but seriously it's like a little cove it's a little cave it's like their little area and it really pays off just to make sure they have their own little spot and last i maybe this is just a me thing and you're like okay i don't find that super necessary but i think that 
It's important to get a little bin to store all your stuff in. Honestly, we didn't get this bin and all of his stuff was just like all over the place. The spray was under the counter, the pads were in the closet, water dish was in the sink. It was just like, everything was everywhere. And it was so frustrating to be like, where is Max's this? Where's Max's that? So we got this little like bin, which is uh, so cute. I mean, look at the little paw prints, just adorable. And it's nice to just have everything in here and we just have it in the closet definitely keep yourself organized it's so much easier rather than trying to like find everything i mean this one's a little bit like obvious like you're like okay duh i'm gonna leave this stuff together but it's just a cute little thing to hold all this stuff and that makes it so much easier when we go to my parents house or we bring it to bring max to matt's you guys by the way my boyfriend's matt max is the dog i get the names intertwined all the time and I swear to god Matt is like ready to punch me but when we bring Max to Matt's parents house too it's nice to just have all the stuff ready to go so I definitely recommend keeping it all together so that is it for today those are all the essentials I think you need right away when getting a puppy I'm sure there are more to come so I'll definitely keep you updated puppy life is just like learning as you go and constantly finding new things you need and what your puppy enjoys and what they don't like so I'll make sure to keep you guys updated but thank you so much for watching. If you are interested in videos like this, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. And if you liked this video, make sure to go watch my other video, what you need to know before getting a puppy. I explain all the things that I wish I knew, things that I learned when we got Max. So go make sure to check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next video.